What's up, YouTube? What's up, world? It's your boy, Monkey Monk, back with another video. As you can tell by the title of the video, I'll be discussing today um, 10 things, or 10 things you can do when you come visit us right here on the beautiful island of St. Thomas, USVI. Now, I am island-born, island-raised. I've been raised right here on the island of St. Thomas. I always knew from the time I was young, I wanted to come back, or excuse me, come back and um, live on the island. Um, more specifically, I love the island of St. Croix. That's my favorite island. And um, yeah, hopefully one day I could get some land over there, build up over there and live over there also. Um, in the meantime, between time, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys once again, what you guys can do, 10 things you guys can do when you come visit us right here on the lovely island of St. Thomas, USVI. Right, guys so the first thing I'm going to mention in um, terms of things to do on the island and I'm going to be mentioning everything in no particular order the first thing is actually going to be a day sail there are a number of um, boats or companies that you could actually charter out for the day and do a day sail the prices range from a hundred dollars per person um, to sometimes they give package deals for or whatever and um, some of them comes with different things they feed you sometimes they give you breakfast and lunch and then snacks and stuff like that um, you go typically to one of the neighboring islands or keys around the island and um, it's a it's a wonderful day as you, you see um, feature here also in some of my videos when I went on a couple of the day sales um, so you could contact any one of the the companies the local companies that offer day sales even if you're coming on a cruise ship for the day you can actually do a day sale as well where they go out for let's say uh, three to four hours and they bring you back well in time for you to catch the ship um, leaving out of the island another activity that you can actually do is actually parasailing um, they did stop the parasailing um, some time back, but it's back again. I think it's been back for the last two or three years. And what you can do once again is contact one of the local companies that offer the um, parasailing. There are a couple companies in particular out on the east end of the island of St. Thomas that you can actually um, book a parasailing excursion on and uh, that also all of the, <laughs> the excursions basically are above a hundred dollars per person and so forth but you do get your money's worth um they take you out on the boat and um you could in most cases i don't i haven't really seen where people do it on their own they usually go with somebody else um to do like the different activities all right for me uh, most enjoyable for me, a most enjoyable activity that I like to do, personally, most favorite activity to do while on the island of St. Thomas is to go jet skiing. We are surrounded by the beautiful turquoise waters of the um, Caribbean Sea and actually the Atlantic Ocean in the north. And you can go jet skiing um, at most of the beaches. Um, Limburg Bay Beach, as soon as you get off the airport, um, there are two jet skiing companies right down there on Limburg Bay Beach and um, there are other beaches as you go out and I would say most most of the beaches that offer the jet skiing is actually on the Caribbean side because the Caribbean waters are more much more calm compared to the Atlantic side which is more rough so I would definitely recommend checking out the jet skis which is my favorite 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 activity of all time water sports to do right here on the island of St. Thomas. Another awesome activity that you can take part in right here on the island of St. Thomas while you come for your stay on vacay is the zip lining. I've done that with my daughter a couple of summers ago when she came to stay with me. And um, she was a little bit scared at first, but by the end she was just like freestyling it. She was the one to go first on most of the, the um, zip lines because you go with a group 
and typically you know what i'm saying you have to wait in turn everyone goes one at a time and she was very excited at the end and doing her thing so she really enjoyed it it's good to go with younger people um, my daughter i think was um probably 13 12 or 13 at the time and um yeah so she was probably 13 because she's only 16 this year and she really enjoyed herself um, doing the zip line. Uh, it's called, we do have one zip line in here on St. Thomas. Um, the, zip, the name of the zip line company here on St. Thomas is called Tree Lyman. And it's in a beautiful spot overlooking the beautiful Megan's Bay Beach right here on the island of St. Thomas. So definitely check that out as one of the, um, as one of the activities to do while you're here on the island of St. Thomas. Okay, the fifth item I would like to mention, oh man, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's the moon, y'all. I guess probably yesterday was new moon. I'm not sure if y'all be able to see it, but I'll zoom in on the camera a little bit later. Y'all can check out the moon. We have some of the most awesome sunsets here, right here in the VI, y'all. Most awesome sunsets. Yeah, so getting right back into the swing of things for number five, I wanted to talk about um, doing a day trip, a day trip over to Water Island. Three major islands, but there's a third island which is habitable and people live on it, and that is Water Island. It's um, if you're coming into the Krang Bay Dock, you actually see Water Island right in front of you. Um, and then if you're coming into the main harbor, uh, Water Island would be a little bit to your left as you come in the harbor. And uh, it's a lovely island. Um, it wasn't habitable when I left the islands to go to college. In 96 it had just got turned over from the Department of Interior to the government of the Virgin Islands in the year 1996 and since then people have been moving there and living there buying land so forth and so on um, I know the president's current president Joe Biden's brother when last I checked does have a house over there and from time to time when he was vice president he used to come down here and spend his Christmas holidays down here on that island as well there's a lovely beach over there called Honeymoon Beach, which is with, within walking distance. There is a um, safari that you can take. I'm not sure if it's up and running right now, but usually there's a safari that you can take. It's like a shuttle and you don't have, there's not a set cost for you to pay. But when last I went, you would pay a dollar or um, you would pay whatever you want to pay to the guy who was driving just as a tip uh, for taking you to the beach and back. All right, and there are several amenities there on the island, on Water Island. And um, you could even rent paddle boats and different things there on the beach. Also, you could tour the island and go to the opposite end, the southern tip of the island, which actually has a World War II fort underground bunker there, which is in one of my videos. I'll put the link in the description um, on the corner of the screen. So you can check out that video as well when we, um, went to the you would have to rent a golf cart of course different golf cars most of the people on the island don't drive cars because at water island so small you'd have to rent a golf cart and go over there but it was fun 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 just going to the island and it would be like a day thing because the um ferry to get, get over there is is a short trip it's like 10 minutes to go and come um but when you go to water island if you choose to do so just make it a whole day trip all right so that's the fifth thing to do when you come to the Virgin Islands. All right, uh, another event that you could take part in or place to go when you come to the island of St. Thomas is actually you can go to the Cor Coral World um, Underwater Park and Marine Observatory. Uh, there, are several, there are several things you can do there as well. Um, including in there are turtles, there are many different animals there and so forth uh, right there at the Coral World Marine Park. So you can check it out there. I'll put the link to the, um, the website also where you can go and book. You can also do something they call sea trekking. And that's actually what I have as the next thing on the list. Um, sea trekking out at um, Coral World Marine Park. They put this little thing over your head like this mask and you go underwater and there are all these fish swimming around and so forth. It's real cool activity to do. So uh, yeah, that's the seventh item I like to put on the list to say you could do when you come to the island of St. Thomas. Okay, number eight. Up on the list, 
I'll say is going snorkeling with the turtles. Excuse me. There are several beaches that you can go to and just hang out with the turtles, go swimming with them and so forth. Um, the beach I like to go to is my favorite beach, Jambro's Beach, um, right on the campus of the University of the Virgins across from the airport runway. Um, you can go there and actually go snorkeling and within, you, I suggest going to the um, left end of the beach when you come in towards the runway and within a minute of you going down with your snorkel, you'll be able to see some turtles right there feeding on the grass and go swimming with them as well. And when you come to visit us here on the island of St. Thomas, is actually going to be taking a day trip over to the island of St. John. Uh, you can get on the passenger ferry or if you're driving, if you when you come you have like a week stay and you rent a car, you actually put the car on the ferry barge that takes you over there. Be aware of the times that the ferries come and go so you don't get stuck over on the island of St. John, all right? But it's a lovely island. You can go to um, Annaberg Ruins. You could go to world famous Trunk Bay. You can go to um, one of the other famous beaches is Maho Beach, right there on the island of St. John. There are several things to do on the island of St. John. I'd recommend if you do go, you plan to make it a day trip, as I mentioned, for the same thing for going to um, Water Island. All right? So, awesome, awesome thing to do when you come right here to the island of St. Thomas. Okay, and the last and final thing you can make sure you do when you come to the island of St. Thomas is take a tour of the island. Um, you can link your boy Marky Mark to take you on a tour. My business partner, um, Jeff, you can um, basically link them. And also I'll um, recommend my, I'll call her my sister-in-law, Annette. Um, she's featured actually in this video here that I also put a link down in the description and a link up top in this video. She's featured in this video and the persons in the video couldn't stop talking about how good of a time they had touring with her right here on the island of St. Thomas. They came with their little children and the children just enjoy their time here on the island of St. Thomas. Um, we take you to at least 12 different locations, in and off on uh, whatever beach of your choosing. I personally recommend three beaches. Sometimes I recommend going to Water Island also, um, Honeymoon Beach over on Water Island, Megan's Bay of course, um, Cookie Point Beach as well. And of course, we have John Brewer's Beach and Limburg Bay right there by the airport as well. Uh, so it's an awesome thing to just end off your, your tours, I think, with a beach, uh, uh, end off your tour at the beach itself. And then do the earlier things. The first thing that you do is just tour the island early on in the day and just end off your tour at the beach. It's just a wonderful activity to do right here on the island of St. Thomas. So that basically wraps it up um, for the 10 things you can do right here on the island of St. Thomas when you come and visit. I know without a doubt, you would definitely enjoy your trip and um, uh, definitely enjoy some of these things that we have to do and offer right here on the island of St. Thomas. So I wanna to say to you guys, once again, thanks for watching the video. Hope you like the information. I want to say peace out, as I always say, VI to the world. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Marky Mark.